Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I am your host, Matorius. This is the part 62 of the Bartaria, Bertaria, 10-hour documentary by the Honorable Milker Nation. Because there's going to be massive poverty coming. Like, so the next land purchase would be that. I can't afford any land on my own. It would have to be a communal effort where if people chip in, they would then have access. It's important to note that at this point in time, he has already purchased, I don't know how many acres his new house sits on, but he has already purchased land for himself, directly for himself from this Bertaria scam. He has already built himself a house, built himself a massive greenhouse, animals, all sorts of things. There's no telling what else he bought himself with this Bertaria money that came from him fear-mongering during a worldwide crisis. And then now he is still uh, grifting, scamming for more money, for more land. As to like, I don't know, like 1% of the, of the um, groceries that come from the land. And as groceries skyrocket, that's going to be the next fundraise. And so I'll keep you guys updated. We want to really um, fulfill our obligations and our uh, promises at Ursa Rio before surreal and that's coming to fruition the next the next level would be because you know 400 bucks got you uh an ability to go to events or camping with your family if you're vetted to ursa rio and that's there was a video that i saw last night that i almost just went ahead and did a video on because uh he lit he (laughs) man it's 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 um it's insane the amount of uh wizardry and spellcraft and rhetoric that is being destroyed with these videos by Owen Benjamin, his his own personal wizardry, spellcraft, and and rhetoric. Putting it in order so that it makes as much sense as it can without making anything up. Coming to fruition, the next one would be in, in our local area, like in uh, Kootenai and Bonner County, if uh, we would give 10, 25% away to charity, like food. Okay, so it's it's important. That's why I rewound this. It's important to note that he was on the Chrissy Meyer show last Friday. And during that show, he admitted that he does not do charity. And so I would almost guarantee that everything that he's talking about right now, about 10, 15, 25, whatever he, whatever number he just made up at this point, it doesn't really matter what he says, because you know, for a fact that it's not going to come to fruition. You know that. Cause there's going to, and if anything good does come, it's not because of him. It's in spite of him. The bears are very tenacious. They are. They actually do want to see good happen and not just uh, lining Oh, and Benjamin Smith's pockets with money, gold, and silver. Be massive poverty coming. <laughs> like, so the next land purchase would be that. I can't afford any land on my own. It would have to be a, a communal effort where if people chip in, they would then have access to like, I don't know, like 1% of the, of the um, groceries that come from the land. And as groceries skyrocket, that's going to be the next fundraise. And so I'll keep you guys updated. We want to really um, fulfill our obligations and our uh promises at ursa rio before we go on to the next one but um cryptocurrency is a wet dream of autistic retard they want to to uh finish what they've started before they move on to the next one unless of course this um endeavor is led by the the uh infamous owen benjamin smith and then Nothing gets finished, and we just move on to the next one because of reasons. That are trying to scam other people. And so if you want to be a part of building our way out, and, and when you're part of building your way out, um, you're, you have an opportunity to become elite. Elite simply means to walk with God. L means God. and then- Okay, so he's actually selling something else right now. Whenever, oh, man. He wants to be an elitist. He thinks he is an elitist. He thinks he's smarter than everyone. 147 IQ people. If I was just 10, 10 points dumber, then I would be able to, um, what did he say? If he was 10, 
points dumber, he would be able to get along with more people or something. He genuinely believes just going just based on his own words. He genuinely believes that he is much, much, much smarter than everyone. 147 IQ. He believes that if if he uh, truly had an evil heart, he'd be able to rule the world. But the irony of that is he's he's trying. <laughs> he's trying. He actively is trying. He wants to be a king living in a castle with his lieutenants. No mention of his wife and kids. A king living in a castle with his lieutenants. No mention of his wife and kids. But then I, f- I found the the other end of the story. Um the other end of that dream here recently in one of his live streams, he said that his dream is to uh, own a restaurant and his children live above the restaurant so they can work in the restaurant. And uh, no, once again, no mention of his wife. So I would assume she's there with the children living above the restaurant so that they can run the restaurant. And then he live in a house out in the, uh, out in the wilderness. And so his castle with his lieutenants are outside of the city limits and his wife and kids are in, in, in town. That's what I think his finished dream is. I-T-E means with. Of. Of God. el lit Of. With God. Hey, BB, any updates on when building at Ursa Rio will commence? Yeah, it's a means to walk with God. L means God, and then I-T-E means building our way out. And, and when you're part of building your way out... This is the first time... I want, I want to say this. I've watched this entire documentary before, and there are so many things that I've missed. Forced myself to, to hang on to every word, almost every word. I'm missing stuff, obviously. But this is the first time I've heard of Build Your Way Out. Um, you're, you have an opportunity to become elite. Elite simply means to walk with God. L means God, and then I-T-E means with. Of, of. This is the spellcraft, wizardry, and uh, rhetoric that is being destroyed with these videos. And I'm saying that just because I know that even if it's not him, it's the same vulgar spirit as him. And direct communication. God, elite, um, with God. Hey, BB, any updates on when building at Ursa Rio will commence? Yeah, it's uh, the, the last two, the last week of May and the beginning of June, I believe. It's insane that he was that he's literally selling at this point being an elitist. <clears throat> that is crazy. Of God, elite. Of, with God. Hey, BB, any updates on when building at Ursa Rio will commence? Yeah, it's uh, the, the last two, the last week of May and the beginning of June, I believe. Start. So that's one thing that he has kept um, on track so far, because he said that last month in April. He said that it was going to be, not for sure, but the last week of, of, of May. Around my birthday, it's starting now, but we're, we invited like, uh, there's like at least 100 people coming to camp and everything. We, we sent out invites, uh, Bertaria.io, where you put your information if you're a donor of 400 or more, you got an invite. So if this, <laughs> for those of you that are following the story that don't really understand what that, what, what's coming, what that means, that means that if you gave $400 or more to this Bertaria scam, that means that you get the prize package of showing up and helping building it for free. That's what that means. Pay to play. And uh, everybody that donated anything, fill it out because we want you to be a part of it on some level, but we have to go in tears because um, of security, because of logistics, because of porta potties, all that stuff. So um, I know it can be hard, but you have to- he, the, the number one thing, the porta potty, none of that matters. What matters is security because he knows what he's done. He knows that there are num- numbers. Of, I don't know what the number is <clears throat> per se, but I know that it's a lot of people who have walked away at this point, who have, or hanging on, but really turned off by him at this point. Because they've seen him build his house. They've seen, and the whole house building thing and, and land purchase for his own personal, 
his own direct personal use uh, is insane because he literally said at one point in time, we're not going to do anything with this money until we get land for the for Bertaria and fulfill that obligation first. And then within a couple of weeks, that was out the window. I understand we're facing more backlash and more opposition from the cattle, not not the Jews. Uh, then I, I, anyone I've seen on the Internet and it's, you know, we're 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 on a fundraising site immediately kicked off, kicked off PayPal, kicked off, you know, kicked off social media. We start a hashtag where people- it's funny how whenever you are openly and blatantly stealing money from people in a day in a, a, a situation that nobody's ever been in, um, you get opposition. That's crazy how that works. And there's still people, I don't know if there is or not, because I, I truly believe that that is Owen Benjamin Smith in the comments section. And so that means that he has run out of his uh, gravy seals or whatever, grown men who call themselves gravy seals. And uh, what's the other one? The squirt guard. <sighs> he's run out of people. And so he's literally doing it himself at this point. People can get get updates kicked off that kicked off everything so it's like i know i'm asking more of you than typical when you like um when you like do a crowdfunding for one of baraplegic's butt plugs or uh you know some new wheel humiliation i'll I, I try to point out the fear and humiliation because he says he says i know how they do it i know how they i know how they rule people it's through fear and humiliation that's how he talks to his people fear and humiliation for his uh, cripple machine, but if you stick with us, it's great. It's fun, and obstacles make you stronger. This is in 2021. He's in the comment section in 2023, saying, "Wait till 2024, guys. Come on, just give just a little bit more, just a little bit more." Now I'm a direct blood descendant of William Clark from Lewis and Clark, and I take and I and. You know, your heritage really can get you through hard times when you think about what they went through, you know, like. OK, one of the I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself in this one. All right. So I'm not going to completely disagree with that. I think that's a beautiful thing. But. Uh, do I? No. I don't disagree with what he just said. Them going out into the unknown and exploring America, it's uh, really incredible. So being kicked off, go fuck me, is uh, not exactly a, a major threat. But commu comms communication is a problem. So that's why I joined Bertaria Times, um, Bertaria.io. And, and why is comms? Why is comms? <laughs> why is communication a problem? What is he talking about with that? That's one thing that I've noticed throughout this this uh, 62 or 60, whatever number this is. Um, he he exaggerates so much and just convolutes so many things. And it's intentional because we're following a, a trail of breadcrumbs and it's intentionally broken. The trail is broken and it's all over the place. And so it's really hard to tell what is going on when. And so whenever he says things with the, the comms, <laughs> uh, communications, it's what did he say? A, a major threat, but commun comms communication is a problem. So that's why I joined Bertaria Times, um, Bertaria.io. And, and the price for Bertaria Times is so small. It's a dollar. It's basically a dollar a month, like a dollar 15 a month. Yeah, it's fifteen dollars a year. So this is this is part of his this is uh, his blueprint for his business model, right? Y'all give me money, I'll tell you. Don't have expectations while I tell you what expectations to have. So give me your money, thank you, and then I'm going to do something with this money that will cause you to have to pay me more money. And if you have done your uh, budgeting for the month and you think that you can't afford a dollar. Um, good luck. And I mean that I'm not being sarcastic. I, I, I really feel for the people that are going to be facing what's obviously coming in the not so distant future. Will there still be 
electricity and roads and hospitals. Yeah, it'll just be increasingly for the uh, ultra rich who will be acting more and more insane because notice he didn't say elites because he's selling you on the elites at this point in time. It's the elite. If you're part of the, I don't remember. That was a term that I, I can't even remember what that was, but if you want to, (laughs) what that is, is you get to be an elite. (laughs) The I laugh, but it's really not funny. You know, this is, he, this is, yeah. It follows monster will be, coming closer and closer and closer and closer until there's no- at this point people have given him thousands of dollars hundreds of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars and has re- received nothing absolutely nothing and then the people that have received something you received an invitation to come help build something for free you're not getting paid for it take time out of your out of your life i want your money and i want your time and i want your physical blood sweat and tears that's what he wants where for them to go center man where are you going to run to right that's how it's obviously happening and all of us are part of it it's just like how much are you part of it is that is it it follow when it reaches you is it just going to slap you in the face or is it going to fucking kill you <laughs> if i haven't received an email back from bertari that i so what he just said was everybody's a victim just how much of a victim are you going to be and <clears throat> let me answer it for you the uh, level of your victimhood is based on your level of participation in my life. However much money you give me, that's that's the level of victimhood. You give me a lot of money, you're not going to be that much of a victim. But if you've got less than a dollar fifty after you budget for the month, then sorry. Oh, does that mean uh, the needs been met, or is there still time to join in? Oh, there's still time. I think. This is the Texas Go Radio Show. I'm your host, Notorious. As always, till next time.